Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 110 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, where today I've flattened out a big terrain. Uh, mostly using uh, the, 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 the rod from Terra Firma, and, uh, or not from Terra Firma, but from Batania, the rod of Terra Firma. Uh, and just a little bit of terrain flattening, nothing too crazy. Uh, big, big, massive clearing out of the terrain, basically. Because I want to get into mine colonies today. Uh, it's been a little while since we've checked out mine colonies. What's it been, like, did I do it in 116? So, like, my last big Let's Play series, I think I did mine colonies, but I don't think we've touched it since. So there's been obviously, um, you know... A lot of versions of Minecraft since then. Uh, two major versions have come out. I don't know what's changed. Uh, I don't know what's new. Uh, I'm, I'm imagining there's definitely been some improvements. And it was a really fun mod last time I played with it. So I'm really curious to see what it's all about now. Uh, so we're going to start off with Mine Colonies. Uh, I think all I need to do is make the supply camp and kind of place it down wherever. Uh, when you start Mine Colonies, you're going to want to make sure of a couple things. One, that you've got a big open area within which to work. Because... Mine Colonies is basically SimCity, if you will, in Minecraft. Uh, what you do is you start a colony uh, and you help develop it. You, you plan out where buildings go. Uh, villagers or colonists will move in and they will uh, start running the, the colony themselves. Uh, and there's all kinds of different buildings you can get. And if you look at the uh, Mine Colonies list, there's like tons of different things. There's blacksmiths and there's builders and there's a town hall and there's a warehouse to store items and there's a forester's hut to cut down trees and there's a miner to do mining and there's a farm and there's a fisher. So basically like all kinds of different activities or, or buildings and what will happen is as the colonists move in, they can get assigned jobs and those jobs will produce resources. Um, so it's pretty fun. It's, it's really a cool, super cool, fun and interesting mod. So what we're going to do is build a colony and see how this mod works, and we'll spend a couple episodes checking it all out. Does that sound like a fun time? Now, the first thing you want to do to get started is make a supply camp, which is just five chests. Easy peasy. And when you place that in the world, uh, you'll notice there is a big UI uh, where you can go ahead and decide where to, to build this thing. Now, the UI is a little bit complicated looking, but it's not bad. Uh, first off, you'll notice the type of building you're making, the category, which is decorations, and the actual building name sub of the decoration so this is a decoration it is the supply camp and you can specify what type uh of supply camp you want to make and there's actually quite a few options here uh and i don't think it matters what you go with for the supply camp but what you do want to do is make sure that you pick the correct supply camp or, or the correct um main building uh so the supply camp is really just kind of like the first little let's get started thing um so let's see, what should we make here? Look at all, look at all the different ones. Um, now I feel like, wasn't there a way? I feel like there was a way to get into like a third person view to see what this would look like. You can move it around. You can go up and down on the Y levels, you can rotate it around, right? Um, I think this mirrors it maybe? So you can kind of move it in any direction that you want. Open unredo window. It might have done, that might have opened a, a crash is what it might have done. <laughs> I feel like I might have just crashed. I don't know for sure, but I suspect I may have. All right, so uh, that's the close game button. We're not going to hit that button. All right, but here's the deal. Um, you can totally place the cam, fly away from it, and then right-click again, and the UI comes back up, and then you can move it around however you want. And then when you hit the checkbox, that, you know, makes it go. Show place order blocks at these positions will not be changed on placement. Okay, cool. Um, so basically, yeah, that's pretty cool. If I... Mm. That doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, but we can choose the Akashia supply camp. I don't think it super matters which supply camp we go with, right? This is kind of just like, uh, this is what this is what kind of starts your little journey here into the, the thing. That's kind of cool. Look at all these neat little different uh, initial supply camps you can have. Lost City, Medieval Birch. Like I said, I think once the town hall is started, we can get rid of these. So it's not massively important, you know, which one we go with. 
but they're still neat to kind of review. Um, wooden looks neat. I like that. I kind of liked the Incan one, I think it was. This one. Yeah, that looks cool. Let's go with that. Boom. Welcome to Mine Colonies. Now that you have your supplies, how about searching for a nice location to place your town hall to create your colony? Uh, so again, as mentioned, uh, this is just a temporary little setup. We'll probably cut this down and get rid of it once uh, once we're done with it. But how cool is that, huh? Not too shabby. Uh, wow, there's a lot of food in here, which is cool. Uh, we've got our town hall and our build tool. Both of these super important. And a bunch of supplies to kind of get us started. Okay. Uh, so let's start with our town hall. Now, I think when I right-click the build tool, I click it on the ground, and we can see different options here. So here's your town hall. Okay. And we can... This is what we actually want to pay attention to, like, the type that we're going to go with here. Because this is, like, the central view of our entire town, right? So we want to know exactly what this is going to look like. Um... And there's different levels of buildings, so pay attention to the levels because as it levels up, you're gonna you're gonna want to keep in mind like you know what this looks like in the end. I mean that's a really cool looking building. That is super cool. I think I should scan through all the level fives and see which one I like the most. Right? I really liked that Asian one. fortress is cool. Incan is neat. Jungle, Lost City. That's ah, kind of cool looking too, doesn't it? Oh, that looks really cool. Medieval Birch, Medieval Birch Alternate, Ooh, nifty. Medieval Dark Oak, Medieval Spruce, Nordic, Sandstone, Space Wars, huh? <laughs> That's funny. I get it. I get the reference. Stone. And you want to kind of fly around to get a view of what everything's going to look like, obviously. True Dwarven, neat, warped, wooden, Akashia. I really, I think this one looks the coolest. Doesn't this look awesome? This is a neat looking town hall. You know, like obviously level one's going to be you know, a lot simpler, but like still super neat. I like that a lot. Um, Okay. And do yourself a favor, like view what it looks like when you go up a level or two. Because you're going to want to pay attention to if where it, where it gets placed, right? Like, I want this flush with the ground. But keep in mind, if you make something flush with the ground and the blocks underneath it are supposed to be something other than what they currently are, your villagers are going to have to dig up all those blocks before they can place the new ones. So just keep that in mind. But we'll see that as it goes by. So let's see. Is this a good central position? Uh, what I need to do is get a mega torch in here. That's what I really need to do. Holy cow, that is a lot of bad guys. I mean, just a lot of bad guys, right? I need to get my Mega Torch. I have it. I just haven't placed it. I was planning to place it, like, in, in the building. How much, uh, how many shots do I have left on this thing? 107. Okay, cool. Put down these creepers. Don't want them showing up. So does this look like a good spot? I like it. So all we got to do is right click and hit the checkbox. Uh, and we've started our colony. Awesome. Uh, I think that's all there is to it. All right, colony started. Neato. Um, so create new colony. Word is out about a newly founded colony. Soon the first settlers will join your colony. If there is enough space around the town hall, experienced governors can turn off these helpful messages in the town hall block. Okay. Uh, so in theory, what should happen is villagers should start to show up in a little bit. And this is, this is the details about our town hall. Uh, there's information in here, how many citizens we have, children, unemployed citizens. Uh, the first settler arrived. You should place a builder's hut to start your settlement. Okay. That sounds cool. Uh, so let's start a builder's hut. Um, 
So we're going to go with not this. Do I need to make the builder's hut? I may I may need to make the builder's hut. Uh and then Yeah, so once you have one in your inventory, you can go ahead and place it. Cool. There you go, builder. And we can, you know, you'll see the the design is similar. It's it's the Asian style, so that's cool. So we probably don't want the builder's hut too far away from the town hall. Um but we also don't want like we don't want it to be like crowded feeling, right? Um, and you can kind of align things however you want. And you can eventually move your buildings. Uh, you'll be able to upgrade your build. There's a lot of different things you can do here. Uh, but does this look cool? I think this looks cool. Um, I'm assuming this is like where they're going to come in at. It's good to me. Okay, let's do it. Uh, check. Great job on the placement of the Builder's Hut. However, that's not enough. You need to access it and click Build Building button. Soon your citizen will be creating new structures for the colony. Quick guide. Some buildings have extra pages. Uh, here you can have an overview of the combined inventory building. Make sure to check out all the building's pages. Understood. All right. So introduction. The builder is the heart of your colony. Without them, you won't be able to get anything done. Uh, so basically, like I said to you guys before, every building has a function, but then you have to assign a worker to the building to be able to do it. So every hut worker has to have their building built to at least level one before they can do anything except for the builder. If the builder has a hut at level zero, they can only build one thing, their own hut. For your builder to build, upgrade, reposition, or repair a hut that isn't their own, their hut must be at least the same level as the other hut. For example, the builder's hut must be level three or above to build a level three. Let's cover. Restrictions. Uh, to build a level three, I assume that's supposed to say building or something. Uh, one, builders and most other workers unlock certain tool levels at their hut levels. So around level zero, you can use wood and gold tools. Level one to use stone tools all the way up to enchanted tools around level four and five. Cool. Builders have a maximum range of 100 blocks for buildings for automatic assignment. If your building is outside that range in the top right of the build options UI for the hut you want to be built, you can select which other to assign to that. Uh, I'm seeing an item that requires resources page that require, seems unobtainable or requires slow touch to get. What should I do? Things like air, dirt, pass, and other blocks will show up in the required resources tab from time to time. While they do show up, focus mainly on your builder's personal request tab. They'll usually request the correct block and convert it accordingly. Oh, that's cool. Uh, as with all workers, as all workers do, the builder levels up while working. At higher levels, the builder's speed increases. The higher their hut level and intelligence skill, the quicker they level up. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so here we've got an assigned worker. You can see Carolina... Carolina Haley, who is probably my main employee person at the moment. Let's see. Who do we got? Uh, oh, we got three uh, citizens. Cool. I think you get four at the start. Now, when you right-click them, you can see their attributes. So, intelligence five. What did builders say you want? Manage workers. So, this is your main tab. Minimum stock. Settings. Automatic on. Fill block is dirt. Okay, cool. Crafting recipes. Work orders. Required resources. Sweet. Inventory. All items. That's pretty cool. All right. So is there a way to know which buildings or which attributes are important for which buildings? That would be cool to know. I mean, I know it said, you know, intelligence mattered here. Intelligence speeds up their leveling. It might be on the wiki. Let's see. Uh, if I looked at the builder's hut on the wiki, because there is a wiki for this. Um, so let's see. I think it might be rates. I think when you choose to hire the worker, it'll show you. Let's see. Manage workers. Ah, here we go. Um, adaptability, so I think green is the most important and yellow is the second most important, right? Um, yeah, green is the most important trait. So I'm going to go with, with Jax, right? Yeah, I think Jax. So what I'm going to do is pause, unpause. How do I fire her? Turning the hiring mode of this hot and colony manual will fire the worker or hire, okay, yeah. So I want to switch this mode over here in this guy. Uh, 
settings, worker hiring mode. Workers are complaining about a long walk to the work. You can manually assign them the closest houses of the option. Okay, cool. I want to change this. Yeah, because I don't want her to be my builder. She's not as good. Worker hiring mode manual. Cool. Okay. So now I should be able to manage workers, fire her, and I'm going to hire Jax. Cool. He's got high adaptability and decent athletics. And I think those stats will go up. That's cool. Oh, and I could have changed the hiring mode just for this building. That works too. All right. So Carolina, you're done. Uh, let's recall our worker. And that brings Jax right here. Hey, Jax. How's it going? Nice to meet you. I'm Dire Wolf. I would like you to build a building right now. Uh, cool. And now if you click on him, he should tell you information about him, right? All the attributes he's got. Well, that's cool. Current requests, his current inventory. Gold. Happiness. If he has a family, his current job. Okay, neat. Sweet. Okay, works for me. Yeah, so the most important one is green. All right, so uh, let's go. Get to work. And you, you can go and do something else, Carolina. You don't need to stand here. It's your gold. So I assume at some point I'll this thing will start working? We'll see. So, let's see. I I feel like I remember I had to, like, do something to, like, initiate this build. Build options. Begin building. Build building. That's what I want. Yeah. All right, cool. So this is the list of resources we're going to need in order to get this building built. So what you do is you go into your build options and you say build building. And now we've assigned this building to get worked on. And now Jax should begin working on this thing. Um, now if we pop into here... Minimum stock settings. This is definitely a little different from what I remembered. Uh, I started work on the Builder's Hut. Good job, Chief. Now you can see all the resources we don't have, right? So cobblestone, crafting table, dirt, okay? Cobblestone, crafting table. And he's also going to start doing some basic stuff. Um, let's give him a little bit of dirt. And you can go into the inventory here and just pop this stuff in there. And now if you go to the Required Resources tab, you'll see that those things are, like, satisfied, and up here is the ones that need it. So we need Furnace, Oak Fence, Fence Gate. Okay. And I'll just throw a bunch of these things in here. And now we check Oak Log, Oak Planks, Oak Slab, Oak Stairs. And at some point, we'll figure out a way to automate this so that, well, A, the colony will be able to take care of itself, basically. Um, so that'll be good once we get the colony to a point where it can take care of itself. And they can also do some of their own crafting, if I don't remember incorrectly. So we need a little bit more stairs, slabs, and a rack. Okay. Now, they only needed, like, one rack, but I'm not going to waste my time only making one, because I know there will be needs for more of those later. Cool. And then just a torch. And now, let me sleep through the night, because we don't have the despawn, you know, mega torch up yet, but I should get that going. Uh, as soon as the builders, like, the town hall is built, I'm going to place it in the town hall. Cool. All right, so now we check this dude out. He's got something to say. I didn't have enough time to go to sleep in the last three days. I will work on that. Right. I need a shovel to continue working. I will work on that. Now, remember, he can only use a wooden shovel because he's only level, you know, zero. I guess he could use gold as well, but I'm going to give him a couple shovels. If I put that in this inventory, he should grab it, I think. See? He just did. Sweet. Cool. I'll take I didn't have enough time to sleep. I'll work on it. Settle down with your complaints. 
And now what he should do is get to work. Right? So he's got all the resources he needs. And here he goes. Go, dude. I guess he's working. I guess we'll see what happens. Where are you digging out right now? I don't even know. Is he digging out like under the ground somewhere? I couldn't even tell you. I'm just gonna let him work and we'll see what happens. Worst case, I can move this structure, by the way. Right? Maybe I should have, uh, I know we're gonna need another builders eventually. Uh, maybe I should just look at what what's um what's this look like? So we did we did Asian, right? Yeah. So if I brought that up a level, yeah, that should be fine. Doesn't look like there's anything directly underneath it. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. And then X to cancel it out. Cool. So yeah, now we placed it correctly. I think we just need to wait for him to, to clear out the terrain around it so he can put his cobblestone around. So let's come back in a few minutes when he makes a little bit more progress. All right, so I think now we've got all the digging done and he's gonna go ahead and build. Sweet. He's building his builder's hut. Go Jax, go. If you check his inventory also, you can kind of see like what he's got carrying around. Like he's got all the components he needs to build this thing. Uh, one thing I notice he likes to do is, like, he likes to place a block over on this side, and then he's going to walk over here and place a block over here, and he's going to walk over here and place a block over here. So he's not super efficient about some of his building mechanics, but whatever. It's all good. He should be cool. Uh, now, I know he's going to complain about not getting any sleep. And look, I get it. I do. I get it. But also, hey. Zombies. You want zombies? Because this is how you get zombies. If you want to sleep... You need a house first, and you need to be get to work so we can have houses. So I'm going to sleep through the night, because these guys don't work overnight, by the way. Uh, your villagers or your colonists, they will not work during the nighttime. So by sleeping through the night, A, it keeps them working, but B, it makes them grumpy because they didn't get any sleep. I can't, I, look, I get that. I also get grumpy when I don't get any sleep, but also zombies don't come to my house. So, you know, you're just going to have to be patient until you get some houses built, buddy. All right, looks like he's doing a great job building, uh, for which I appreciate things, because, yeah, look at him go. Are you going to do the back and forth thing again? You're going to do the back and forth thing again. That's all right. I'll, you know, I'll let you do your thing. Go, Jax, go. Build the builder's hut. Look at that. He even uh, did the dirt path thing automatically. That's kind of nice. And now remember, he will... <laughs> Um, once he's level one, he can use better tools. So what I'm probably going to do is snag the shovel and get some wooden shovels. Because he can use wooden tools at level one, if I'm not mistaken. Also, once he's gotten down uh, the rocks, they are also inventories. And he can pull resources out of those to do all his building needs. So, uh... Yeah, that's another place for me to put resources for him to have access to. Now, eventually, we'll be able to build a warehouse where we can store a ton of resources. We'll have a courier who moves resources between the warehouse and the builders and other things. And then we'll also have things like uh, a, a, a tree farm guy who will make wood. We'll have a miner who can make stone. Uh, we'll have a crafter who can put these resources together in their specific way. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this guy has his own list of... Doesn't he have his own list of craft? Yeah, he has he has crafting recipes. I think he can do basic ones, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not entirely sure how that works. It's something we might have to investigate a little bit. That's awesome. Now, does this thing tell me if we go to required resources, supplied 100%, used 61%. Awesome. So you can kind of see what percentage complete the building is, and it updates in real time. That's better than it used to be, didn't it? I think so. That's cool. And I think these buttons might take them out of my inventory and put them into, into the builder's hut automatically. So if I have this stuff in my inventory, it'll, it'll do it. It's kind of cool. 
Yeah, you will take care of it. That's right. Okay. Port order, just the crafting recipes. All right, not too bad. We're getting there. All right. So I think he's finishing up here. And again, we can look at the required resources tab here to see how much further he has to go. So he has to just place a few more resources and we're done. That is cool. And now this building should be complete-ish. I guess he's filling out a few more things. Oh, he's putting down his torches, I see. I Hooray! The first completed building of our new colony. Build a builder building. All land within one chunks of the builder has been claimed. Uh, we should focus on providing a place to sleep for the initial citizens. A tavern would be able to house all four of them. That's not a bad idea. But we should also work on... Um, Let's see, build options, build building. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of stuff, though. You're going to need a pretty similar amount of things. All right, build request is in. And shortly, the, the builder here will recognize that request. Now, what are your complaints? There are no guard or barrack terrors nearby. I don't feel safe here. All right, look, buddy. You're in charge of building the things. You build a builder barracks thingy. Okay, good. He started work on the town hall. So now we can check out the required resources. We're going to need a chest, some more cobble and dirt. Cobble. Some more dirt. And again, you can access the rack here directly um, to, to give him what he needs. Okay. Uh, I'll even throw another stone in there. Cool. What are the required resources? Um, oak logs, oak planks. I put the chest in there, right? Is it a chest chest that he needs, not an oak chest from, uh, that might be a problem. We like convert you into like, there you go. That should make you happy, right? Yep, and a little bit more dirt, oak logs, oak planks. Okay, oak slab and a lot of oak stairs and a white bed. So that should satisfy that. Oak stairs. So now we should see that we're pretty good. We just need a few more stairs. Sweet! Supplied 100%. Awesome. So, in theory, he's going to go do his thing now, Mr. Jax. Wherever you went. I don't know where he went, but, you know, hey, go, uh... Oh, he's already digging. Nice. I Could you maybe not use the junky shovel? Because that would be just super great. I stole his shovel from him. <laughs> So I think he's going to go get a good shovel now, if I'm not mistaken. So if we look in here, there's three shovels. He should be getting a new one. Slowly but surely. It's your gold. Oh yeah, look, he got a stone one. Nice. And then he's picking up a little bit. Oh, that's the dirt that he probably dug up over there, which is fine. Good. Now he's got a stone shovel. He might have stole the one that was in here, actually. Yeah, he did. Remember there was a stone shovel in there? 
And then hopefully he can dig faster now. Okay, great. So let's do this. Um, let's wrap up the episode here. I'll let him build a little bit between episodes. And when we come back next time, we'll be at least somewhat part of the way through having this area built. Then we'll work on a tavern, which would be the next best thing to start building, because that's going to do two things. Number one, it'll house the four citizens we currently have. They'll have a place to sleep rather than randomly wandering around at night. Number two, uh, it'll attract other people to the, to the colony and we can hire them as colonists if we want. There's two ways to expand your colony. Number one, um, build more. Well, number one, we definitely have to build more houses, which we will start building after we have the tavern. That will allow us to house more citizens. Uh, then our citizens might have kids or people who come to the tavern we can hire. And sometimes you get some really nice um, traits in the in the tavern people. So uh, that's pretty slick. So we'll let we'll let this digging occur. We'll let him build out, you know, whatever he needs to build out to get this place built. And then hopefully we should have a nice town hall ready to go. Or at least close to it when we start next episode. Then we'll get onto the tavern and some housing and move on from there. For now, Devil 20 sign them off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to continue checking out mine colonies. For now, take it easy.